I'm in downtown Flagstaff, Arizona today, and I am spending the night in what is reportedly one of the most haunted hotels in the U.S., the Hotel Monte Vista. Hotel Monte Vista opened its doors New Year's Day 1927. There's been many, many notable people that have stayed here. I'll be staying in the Zane Gray room. The hotel has also been featured in films such as Casablanca and Forrest Gump. Possibly the most famous haunted story is for room 305, the John Bon Jovi room, where the rocking chair rocks on its own, and some have seen an elderly lady sitting in the chair looking out the window. There's a phantom bellboy that's been seen on different floors. Guests claim to have heard a knock at the door and a faint voice called room service. Other stories include the Meat Man in room 220. 220 is also known as the Susie Sue Room. The Meat Man hung meat from the chandelier in his room. In the early 1980s, he was found in his room after he'd been dead for three days. According to the hotel, it's common for the TV to act up on its own. People have also reported feeling cold hands touching them while they sleep. Room 306 is the Gary Cooper Room reportedly had a male guest who brought two prostitutes up to his room. The two ladies were murdered and thrown out the window. Another version, the ladies were thrown out the window and died when they hit the pavement below. In the 1970s, there's a story that says three men had robbed a bank near the hotel. One of the robbers was shot during the escape. Even though he was injured, he and the other two stopped by the Monte Vista Lounge for a drink to celebrate their successful heist. The suspect's injuries ended up being more serious than they realized. He died in the bar before he could even finish his first drink. It's reported that the bar stools and glasses have been seen moving on their own. There's also a story of a ghostly couple that's been seen dancing in the cocktail lounge. I'm not quite sure what the story is here. This is my room. I'm in the Zane Gray room. Really nice room here. Turn you around so you can see a little bit. Got fireplace. I'm overlooking the downtown here. Look at what just pulled up out front. Is that cool or what? According to what I've read, they say that there's reports of lights flickering, knocks on the walls, TV going on and off by itself, and cold hands touching you during the night. Not long after I got to my room, things already started happening.
One of the tools that I used during this investigation was the EMF detector. You see this that I'm holding in my hand? If you come close to it, wow, come close to it again. Can you do that? Make the needle move? It's starting to get dark now. I'd like to document the history here. Heard there's an elderly lady who rocks in the rocking chair. Can you tell me your name? Is there a bellboy here? Are you afraid to be seen? Can you tell me your name? You know, if you come close to this phone, I might be able to hear you. I keep hearing clicking. Night two was really quiet. I didn't catch anything. As you can see, the sun is coming up and my time here is over. This was a very interesting place. The Hotel Monte Vista is nearly 100 years old now, so it seems only fitting that visitors, living and dead, stop by now and again. And there's some, I think, that have chosen to stay. <laughs>